Alright. Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Shadowverse. Um, to be honest, the last time I actually played, I had a lot of fun, and I hope everybody had a lot of fun, but it seems like the series, um, there might not be a lot of interest in it as far as watching it goes, and that's all good. Uh, it's basically like, I want to make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, I just woke up. Well, not just woke up, but anyway, I wanted to make sure that I at least finish it so it's not really an unfinished project. Because, you know, that, that irks some people, kind of irks me a little bit, you know, when something just doesn't get done. <clears throat> Anything else that I really didn't finish wasn't necessarily a challenge of the object itself. It was more that I just needed to move on to new things and new series so that people would, like, you know, the channel's growing. I need as much content as possible. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to still play the matches, but I'm mostly going to skip to the parts right before the victory and then just uh like like maybe either cut or paste those sections and make them into one video or just record the whole thing and cut out all the cut out all the different parts that are tedious but uh i just wanted to make sure that i finished the storyline i actually did clear perception i know who the opponent is and i know how to beat him so it should be okay i cleared pursuit and there's a chapter called The Past. So I'm going to just keep on rolling and at least finish Erica's storyline. If anybody ever wants me to finish the whole thing, that would be awesome because I have a lot of fun with it. And as it turns out, you don't really know the whole Shadowverse inter-story unless you clear all the storylines. Which, you know, fat lot I know because I haven't cleared all the storylines yet. But I can tell just from playing the two chapters of two separate characters that... The stories are kind of intermingled a little bit, but without further ado, I'm going to get on with it and just show you the good old-fashioned uh, ending scenes and the victory scenes and all that good stuff and jizz jazz right there. So, I'll uh, see you there. Alright, let's see. We're going to go ahead and select the deck, and at least I can let you see the cutscenes. Where am I? Is this the throne room? No. Ah, uh, I should have read the, um, I should have read the, uh, overview. Perfect timing, sleepyhead. Mm. <laughs> Tea will be served in just a moment. Princess, is that you? I bought these teacups and your favorite blend of tea. Come on. I don't think so. You look scared, Erica. She looks What's really wrong? scared. <laughs> Did you have a bad dream? You're a fake. You're holding yourself all wrong, and the look on your face isn't right either. It's all wrong! What are you saying, Erica? It's me. Where is the real princess? I need to know! I told you. I'm right here. I'll ask you again. Where is the princess? Oh, you better be careful. She likes to cut things. <laughs> Erica? So you're not in the mood to answer. <laughs> You may not be the real princess, but I beg your forgiveness all the same! Oh. I've got to find the real princess! Why? Why do you reject Serenity? Well, I guess I'll give you an overview myself. Um, after that Morning Star activated, uh, she was like teleported to this dream world where apparently Iris is trying to make it seem as if she's, um, you know, waiting for the awakening of, uh, well, she'll explain it too. It's, it's basically like a dream world that's supposed to be perfect while the new world is awakened. Who are you? This dream is the cradle. You are meant to sleep until the hour of liberation. Yeah, see, strange thing. I don't have time for these riddles. <clears throat> if you know where the princess is, tell me! Dun dun dun. Then we go into the battle. You must die! And I guess I'll Liberation is almost here. Just uh <laughs> one two skip a <laughs> one two skip a few skip a few ninety nine one hundred. <laughs> Ooh, that guy's cool. Alright. Alright. So, 
After being swallowed by the Morning Star, Erica awakens to find herself in a familiar castle with the princess. She draws her sword after realizing that the princess is a fake. Where am I? And we've uh Is this the throne? Seen this part already. No. Where's the skip Perfect button? timing, sleepyhead. <laughs> Tea will be served in just a moment. Okay. Having cut down the fake princess, Erica then turns her blade on her next target, a mysterious priestess. Ah! I cannot understand! Where is the princess? I need whatever information you have! This is the world that you wished for. It is cut from the cloth of your longings and tailored to your desires. This is the power of the almighty Nexus. Ah, so it was the Nexus. Humanity is or meant to wait for the it. hour of liberation in peace. My way is just. Of this much, I am sure. Mm -mm. What is that supposed to mean? Why do you insist on shedding bitter tears? This isn't... This isn't supposed to be. Did she really just teleport away? Yep. Is she gone? Yep. No. Focus on finding the princess for now. If anything were to happen to her... To find her, I'll have to track down that priestess. She should still be in the castle. That... That should do for <clears throat> now. It feels like I'm forgetting something. Something important. I'm sure it's nothing. Even if it were, it, it wouldn't matter. Nothing is more important than finding the princess. Dun dun dun. Mm hmm. Oh, I hate this. The never ending cold. Let's see. Perception in pursuit. Was that. Was that the actual. Did we see that one already? Let's see now. I think. Uh, yeah, I think not. In perception. Okay. So the priestess appears before Erica once again and tells her that this world is a dream. Erica dismisses these words and turns her sword on the priestess. At a glance, this does seem like the castle, but it's totally different. Why am I here alone, so far from the princess? Da -da -da -da. Because that is what you hoped for and wished for. There no. you are! This world was created for you. That is all there is to tell. Created for me? What are you implying? I am implying nothing and stating everything. This is a world for you, a dream built for your desires. Why must you and she reject the serenity that precedes liberation? You're telling me my wishes brought this world into being? But that's impossible! Basically, it's your fault. No, that is the reality. And I am relaying it to you as the keeper of the dream. All this world's occurrences are as you wished them. This dream is yours. You know what would be really interesting? Iris, or Eris, excuse me, goddess of chaos! <laughs> she, she is a playable character in this game. I mean, a lot of people don't seem to... I don't know, it's not so big over here in the States, but I, I guess. But a lot... <laughs> I would love to play Eris' storyline and see what all her motivations for doing this actually are, but someday maybe. Tell me where the princess is, or else. Never would I have imagined that <laughs> humanity was so pitiful or so foolish. Whoa. <laughs> Insolent You want to go? I will eliminate you. I love this part. I When I actually faced him in the, like, you know, in the original run-through that I wasn't recording, I made so much fun of the fact that he has one line. It's just, everything for him is just insolent fool. I will eliminate you. <laughs> Would you... <laughs> uh, it'd be great to have this guy at a tea party. Ha, ha, would you like some tea? Insolent fool, I will eliminate you. It's like it's all he can say. It's no use calling your minions. Prepare yourself! And then it just sort of got to me. Because when the duel starts, like when you actually start the match, he, he says it again. He's like, insolent fool, I will eliminate you. And I was like, yeah. We've been over that. Uh, no, this can't be. My way is just. 
I can't be mistaken. Where is the princess? Answer me! Simply wish, and she will appear before you. Oh, this is freaky. Erica? What are you doing? <laughs> it's time for tea. Nope. What sort of illusion is this? Nope. That is a ten pound bag and nope in a five pound... <laughs> that is ten this pounds is no of nope in a five pound bag. It is the cradle of dreams that you yourself crafted. Seek your serenity within. Uh-uh. You unbearable... <laughs> Erica? Why are you so angry? You're scaring me. Stop it! Ooh. How could she do this? Make me kill the princess not once, not twice, but three times? She won't get away with this! Actually, technically, if you count the first illusion, that makes it four times. I'm sorry, I'm not helping. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go on ahead and let's see. I'll play the past. I'll play the opening segment and then do the duel and then just skip to the win. Yeah, I'm still getting used to this whole idea. Okay, the past. Erica scouts the castle in search of the priestess. Yeah, priestess, not princess. The castle seems to stretch on endlessly, no matter how far. Actually, hang on. Excuse me. Erica scours the castle in search of the priestess. The castle seems to stretch on endlessly, no matter how far Erica runs. As she won as she's wondering how it could be. Bleh. I need to work on that. As she's wondering how this could be, Erica is approached by a soldier. Show yourself, priestess! Those are some How really powerful heels. She's gone without a trace. I've searched in every corner of the castle. Every last corner. This doesn't make any sense. Technically, if the castle stretches on endlessly, you haven't searched every corner. Door after door, stair after stair. you never stare. will. There's no <laughs> Why am I still in this room? Is this another one of her illusions? Probably. Where's the princess? Oh, he wants to know too, standard generic soldier. It's an ambush! By one guy! Save me, Erica! Princess? No, it's... Are you an illusion? Ah, enough! Bring me the princess this instant! Erica, please! Who are you? What is this? Stand down if you value your life! Oh! The princess! Hand her over and surrender! Looks like I've gotta handle this! Da -na 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 -na. Okay, so I'm fighting generic soldier one. I'm pretty sure I could win this one. Alright, so I guess I'll just, uh. Yeah, he's just soldier. <laughs> you you, you must can't die. watch me have to die. The princess, <laughs> hand her over and surrender. <laughs> it's just another minion that can only say one line. <laughs> hey soldier, you want to go to the party this weekend? Hand over the princess. Oh, okay, well that sounds pretty cool. I mean, you know, I mean, I was I was just thinking Chad was gonna be there. I mean, uh, Emily might even be there. I mean, hey man, can you bring the beer when you come to the party? Hand over the princess. He's got one line. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, but I'm getting distracted. It's just funny, because I'm thinking I'm going to have to fight him like six or seven times when I'm making fun of him. I was like, oh, I can win. No big deal. No problem. I, I'm sure I'll beat him effort effortlessly. And then he probably just stomps me into the ground several times. I mean, I beat the mage minion pretty easily, but you never know. <laughs> All right, I'll skip right to it, and I'll see you there. Okay, I resumed the recording because I think I got this one. If I'm not mistaken, 5 and 5 makes 10. He has 11 health and no ward. And I really thought I was I really thought I was done. I really thought there's no way I can win this. But I I just sometimes you just forget. So let's go with forge weaponry and then put that on I'm guessing a vagabond frog. And I love his ability. Let's read his ability real quick. Oh god, please don't mess this up, Johnson. His ability at the end of your turn gain ambush. <laughs> and it's crazy. He can attack, 
And then at the end of your turn, you gain ambush back, so he goes back into hiding. It's great. I love this. I love that card. Can you dodge this? Because cards lose ambush, like him, whenever they attack. Nice Come and on. easy. Ah! Yes. I really thought I was done. Look in the field. It looks like I'm done. Oh, shoot. I gotta get more coffee. Nothing is more important <laughs> than her. After these cutscene breaks. Ooh, a take two ticket. Did I mention that I played a take two match where um, you are assigned random cards to make a deck and you fight five other uh, real life players and all of my opponents except for one from were basically from either Japan or China or some country that I can't read the characters of and I lost all five rounds. It was great. <laughs> it was terrible. I, it made me sad. It made me sad face. Ooh. Jeez, man. That's another illusion. That priestess! Oh, oh, sorry. There we go. Gotta grab the mic real quick. Thank you, Erica. You rescued me. Is that the real one, though? Stay away! You aren't real! Apparently not. Your blade is beautiful, radiant, and pure. You fake! You might say your sword is tarnished, Erica, but I don't believe it. That sword saved me. That's a good way to drive somebody crazy. <laughs> you are my gentle blade, Erica. Nothing in your past can change that. Please stop! Yes? Yeah. Erica, protect me, and your past will be forgiven. Yep. I said stop! Yep, it's driving her mad. Protect me. Extinguish the past. Gosh, this is... This is full of the feels. Why? Why is the illusion talking about my past? My past. That past. Not even the princess knows about that. Hmm, well that's a good way to see that she's a fake. All this world's occurrences are as you wished them. This dream is yours. Oh, I see. That can't be true. There's no way. But if it is, then where does that leave me? Hmm. Dun dun dun. I guess stuck in the dream. All right. Excuse me. So the next chapter we're going to go to will be atonement. Now, I guess... I'm not sure how many chapters there really are. I think there's supposed to be 14, but I'm not sure. Uh, the last final looks like it's going up up there towards the end there. Uh, I'm probably going to splice these episodes together, and then we'll continue the next chapter in Atonement. I kind of wanted to finish the whole thing, though, to just get through with the series, because I'm planning on playing a, a new series um, of a different game uh, that a friend recommended to me. Uh, it's I, I always forget the name of it Undertale <laughs> what a funny name but um, once I start that up I'll probably be pretty much playing that and doing the uh, Robot Arena 2 DSL mod tournaments um, if I can ever get around to making the tournament roster which I've been so lazy about but you know once you see one YouTube video of other people doing it it just discourages the living daylights out of you even though I have a different way of doing it myself so I wanted to watch those and make sure I don't wind up doing the same thing as anybody else. I want to do it different so nobody will think I'm trying to cop off of anybody else. I want to try to run it like, well, that that's a bit of a out there sort of thing. But um, I don't know if anybody's going to watch this anyway. So, like, you know, it's kind of like, oh, well, how, to, how what's the professional atmosphere I need? So I'll try to keep it, um, keep it professional. As far as the... Robot Arena 2 DSL tournament mod goes, I wanted to run like, um, you know the old BattleBot series. I wanted to do something like that, or as close to that as I could actually do. But, uh, I guess, um, yeah, we'll just do Atonement, and I'll just keep splicing together the cutscenes. So, let's, uh, let's start that up. Erica, Erica, once bloodied her hands as an assassin for a certain kingdom. The revelation of this dark secret devastates her. Oh... 
I also had to make a new deck just to beat that knight. It was just as I said, he actually wound up stomping me like three times in a row because I couldn't handle his deck. And it turns out the ambush on um, Vagabond Frog it was just phenomenal. You'd see like a little 1-2 and you'd think, 1-2 ambush? Pathetic. But man, let me tell you, his effect just came in handy. So never look down on those little 1-2 or 1-1 one, one cards. They can really come in handy. <clears throat> no, wait, please! The rebels, they took my wife and kids hostage. They made me join, I swear! Huh. <gasps> oh! Mission one complete. Now commencing mission two. But my family, what's going to... What'll happen to them? Oh, dude. You weren't even a person to her. You were just mission two. They have betrayed the crown. They will die as all traitors do. Monster? Not a monster! Oh, sh- <laughs> No, Erica. That's all behind you now. Now you are the princess's blade. Erica, don't concern yourself with it. I forgive you. I accept you. You fraud! Enough! Spiraling into madness right there. That's the one, that's the face, that's the spiral into madness. No matter how much blood is on your hands, no matter how tarnished you may be, I forgive you. I accept you. Stop! How can you make the princess say that? Now, see, it's really gonna freak her out when she what slices- What need is there for such stridency? Is this not what you hoped for and wished for? It's- I, I was just thinking it's gonna- it's gonna be really freaky to Erica when she's- Cause she's been slicing princesses all day. The one she slices that actually bleeds and doesn't poof into a, a puff bubble of smoke is really gonna be bad. It isn't! No! I'm sorry, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Nexus is almighty. All within your heart is clear to her, so she cannot err. Jeez, first generic mages, then generic knights. It's getting more and more generic. Now she's just sending wolves no out more. after me. I won't allow this! Oh boy. Oh wow, that's a really cool ca uh, card. Uh, yeah, generic wolf. So if I had to take a wild guess, you I'm guessing die. that this thing's um, fighting ability... The knight was all about defense. By the way, the first time he beat me, he has a card that once a car, once a, uh, a follower with four defense or higher is dropped onto the field, that card, that amulet, automatically gives that uh, his follower with more than four defense ward immediately. Let me tell you, that is one of his win conditions. That knight was ridiculous with that ward out. Or with that card that gave them ward. That was one of his win conditions. Now, if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say that this wolf is mainly based on speed and probably rush. Rush and storm. But you never know. So I'm going to go on ahead and fight him and probably skip to the end and see if I can take him down. And yeah, yeah, I'll cut the recording and then resume it whenever I, whenever I win. All right. Okay, so it has become apparent to me that uh, that wolf, uh, his deck, its uh, he's not as easy to beat as I originally anticipated. Uh, he's a real beast, no pun intended. So what I've decided that we're going to do is uh, we're going to unlock a pack for the day, and then, uh, as is tradition, and then I'll probably just splice those episodes together, um, and they'll mostly just be cutscenes and, and little things there, here and there. So let's go right on to it. Yeah, I lost bad. <laughs> Let's go. Boop. Yeah, that one's tough. Atonement. That is a tough match. I also let's see. Do do do. Car. No shop. Five minutes. Still got a few tickets left. I think I used up all but one of my Tempest of the Gods tickets. Uh, I've got some Rise of Bahamut's tickets. Some Darkness Evolve tickets. No standard tickets. 
But just to be fun, you know, as like the, I guess, a last homage to maybe the ending part of at least one part of the series, I guess we'll, I'll use one ticket on the latest expansion. Wonderland Dreams and see what all the latest expansion has. Oh wow, what a pretty book. Wouldn't you love to have that sitting on your dresser? Good God, that is nice. That is a beautiful book. Oh, flowers! Oh, I love that card background sleeve. You know what that would be great for? Um, a forest craft deck. I bet you can unlock that too. Nice. We got Axe Destroyer, Swordcraft, Unevolved, nothing. Evolved, or Unevolved is 6-5, basic. Evolved is 7-6, Evolved. Destroy an enemy follower or amulet. Nice. You'll all be crushed. Woo. <laughs> Dang, she's tough looking. Ah. Crushed to pieces! Wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, then we got White Tiger. Havencraft, 3-2. Evolve, or War. 3-2 Ward. Evolved, 5-4 Ward. Awesome. That's what he sounds like. Nice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, then we got Lion Champion. Oh man, he looks beastly. But he can do no pun intended again, of course. Uh, evolve, unevolved, 4-5 Ward. Whenever this follower attack is attacked, gain plus one plus one. Ooh. And he has to be attacked because he's got ward. Ooh, that's good. Nice. Da da da. Evolved. Uh, same effect. Nice. Oh, right. Voice lines. Away, fangless one. Ha, <laughs> nice. Withdraw! But why? <laughs> you are not worth a fang. Oh, a fang. Wow. He looks kind of cybernetic in his evolved form, doesn't he? Interesting. And of course we have dragon sculpture, dragon calf card. The dragon craft card. At the end of your turn, transform this amulet. Oh, of course I'm an idiot. Excuse me. For, uh, sorry. Pardon me. <clears throat> At the end of your turn, transform this amulet into a dragon. If the opponent has more cards in play than you. Okay. Dragon five play point follower five five evolved to seven seven. Okay, so standard dragon. Uh, transform this amulet into a dragon if the opponent has more cards in play than you. So I guess you would want to play that dragon sculpture whenever you have more cards in play than your opponent, which would, you know, encourage your opponent not to put more cards out onto the field. It's kind of like a... No, it's like a bluff, only you can back it up. <laughs> Flower Princess, Forestcraft, Fanfare, put two fairies into your hand if you have two or less neutral cards in your hand. Put a thorn burst and two fairies into your hand if there are three neutral cards into your hand. Wow. The falling petals dance. <laughs> petals flutter down. She's so sweet and cute looking. Oh wow, neat. Would you like to dance? Aww, that's all sweet. Then we have the Mad Hatter, of course. Nice, Shadowcraft. Fanfare, destroy an allied follower and summon a ten soldier. Doesn't activate if no other followers doesn't activate if no other allied followers are in play. So what what is Ten Soldier all about? He is a five play point follower, four five evolved. Nice. Alright. Mmm, this may be fun. <laughs> See you at the tea party. Oh great. Mad, mad, but of course! <laughs> nice. Then we have Tove. Tove, huh. Interesting. It's a, like an anteater. Uh, let's see. Tove. Bloodcraft class. When an allied neutral follower comes into play, this, uh, this follower gains Rush. Evolved. Same effect. 2244. Ooh, wow. Oh, so that's what it sounds like. It is one freaky beast. Then, of course, Sylvian Elder. I think we've seen him already, but I'll go over him just in case. Forestcraft, Ward, Fanfare. Give all other allied followers plus one, plus one if you have at least three neutral cards in your hand. Nice. You cold? Don't harm the woods, forest folk. Oh, wow. He's very, um... 
ghost of Christmas present in that one? It's present, right? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> nice. All right. So that was a pretty good pack. So that's our pack for the day, and I'll splice those episodes together and probably just get it up on the channel. I'm, like, dying for content right now. There's, like, three days between the, the last episode and this one. Uh, there was a storm that rolled through, and I can't really make any excuses because the power didn't go out, but with all the preparations and trying to be prepared for it and all the work I do with my regular job, it was just tough to get the episodes around. So I'm going to try to get some more content out there and move on to, I believe it's called, I always forget the name of it, it's because it's got a really weird name, Undertale. It sounds so weird, but I'm going to try to get onto that and see if that's uh, any fun to play around with and you know, maybe fun for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll probably do, like, I'll be back to Shadowcraft, but mostly just to finish the cutscenes for Erica's storyline and see where she winds up, because I just sort of feel indebted for starting, and I want to finish at least her story, you know, because, like, you know, she's a cool character, and I feel like, you know, it, it just seems like I just don't want to leave it there. But yeah, I'll, I'll basically just do the winning, ending cutscenes and finish off her storyline and then maybe come back to Shadowverse some other day. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.